big breath. Come on, come on. Four minutes. Oh, three minutes actually. Oh, he's down, he's down. everyone and welcome to a special edition of pal to tech I accept the one armed challenge let me explain the one armed challenge was started by Philip Bloom a youtuber and videographer and cinematographer as a way of demonstrating the proper way to hold a gimbal a lot of youtubers have taken the challenge and it involves holding it out with one arm and seeing how long that you can hold it up and then you tag someone else when you're finished to see if they can do it I have been tagged I was tagged by Tammy Sibniewski if you have not checked out her channel be sure to do so especially Especially if you edit and are interested in Luma Fusion. Without any further ado, I have my entire family here. This is my daughter Kira, this is my wife Christine, and this is my son Cameron. You know, it's funny, the last time we were all together in a, in a TV studio was on CNN, <laughs> except that we were, we were dressed a little bit differently. Check this out, there is a fan in here that turns, and awesome. so it blows air, keeps it cool. Okay. I could be out for hours, it's awesome. Oh. Anyway, Let's do the challenge. You are the official timekeeper. Your job is to make sure that my arm is held out straight and you're gonna record it for posterity. And here we go. Go ahead and start the timer. And keep it up. Okay. You keep it up. Now. Oh. <laughs> okay. Uh, no, serious, serious. Okay. Speaking of which, <laughs> this challenge was done by two other awesome YouTubers, Potato Jet and Gerald Undone. If you haven't checked out Gerald Undone, you really need to. He has got the best channel, and in my opinion, he has the best opening theme. I have that stuck in my head. I literally cannot get through a single day without hearing, you know, he's crazy. It, it, just go to his channel. I will have links to his channel, Tammy's channel, and the person I'm gonna challenge when this is all over. How am I doing here? You, you kind of, you know oh. what? No, you're still good. You're all still right. good. Give me five there. seconds. Okay, I'm still good. What's, what, yeah. are you, what record are you trying to break? I'd like at least three minutes, you know? Three minutes, oh my God. <laughs> okay, so here's the thing. These other YouTubers, I mean like Gerald or Potato Jet Gene, right? They're a lot younger than Pal Detect. You're okay, I, you're shaking. I'm just, I'm, I'm just saying. It's only one minute. They're, look, these Canadians that you know, they're listen. They're in their twenties and thirties. I'm fifty-two years old. I, I'm just saying. I'm, I'm just saying, right? <laughs> Anyway, this is the Ronin SC gimbal holding an XT3 with a 90 millimeter lens. And XT2. Oh, is it? <laughs> He's right. It's an XT2. Okay. <laughs> Ah, oh, the boy takes after the father. <laughs> okay, so it's an X-T2, and it has a monitor hooked onto it, and it also has a Deity mic on it, and I might add the extra additional oh, battery look pack. Oh, triceps are just traveling. All right, all right. <laughs> it's, well, getting, it's getting a little hard. Minute 45. Hard. How much are we? All right, um, um, now we are a minute 50. A minute 50, okay. So the whole point of this challenge, now I'm doing what's called filler to keep you entertained well. I'm really in a lot of pain here. Okay, so. You can do it. You can do it. What? Wait, wait, let him focus. Yeah. He's gotta focus. <laughs> okay. Focus. He has to focus on this. All right, step, the over there, step, step over there, step over there. Step over there, Cameron, watch oh, out. Oh, it's getting him. tough, it's getting he's tough. He's starting, he's needing to focus. Come on, you can do it, man. You <laughs> da, da, can do da, 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 da. it. Oh, I better not do it, I'll get a copyright strike. Oh, yeah. <laughs> right. da, 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 da. Oh, I'm getting hot. Okay, okay. Um, what I was going to say is that this gimbal, the SC, the Ronin SC, is one of the few gimbals for the Fujifilm camera that actually now, with the new firmware, works very well with the camera. And I am going to do another video on it after I've recovered from this one. Oh, and by the way, Yes, the Viltrox is coming. <laughs> it's, it's coming. I promise. The Viltrox is coming. <laughs> Come on. Deep breath. Power it out. Come on. 255. 255. 255. Okay. Come on. I gave birth. You can do this. I gave birth twice. Okay. Get, get ready, Kira. Get ready. <laughs> Come on. Keep it up. For a deep, big breath. Come on. Come on. Four yeah. Oh, three minutes actually. Oh, he's down. He's down. Okay. <laughs> Oh man! You lost, you lost your mic. I lost the mic. 
<laughs> but I made the video. What, what's the time? Okay, time is um, three minutes, 10 seconds. And 56 milliseconds. That's not very good, is it? <laughs> I don't know about that. I gotta practice more. You know what? Next time, I'm just gonna try it. I should have done it with a fly cam. Um, okay, well. Well, you okay? You know what? That's a heavy rig. So the moral of the story, first of all, oh is my God. <laughs> practice before you do these things, number one. Number two, oh. <laughs> I would say never hold a gimbal out with one hand. There's the proper way to hold a gimbal. There's the proper way to shoot with a gimbal. There is a YouTuber out there that does the best. This person lives, eats, and sleeps, and breathes gimbals. I, I, he loves gimbals. And his name is Josh Morgan from Momentum Productions. He's a cinematographer in Los Angeles. Awesome channel. Go, I can't even talk. Go there right now, subscribe to that channel before the sun sets today, and now Josh, Josh. I, I don't know you, okay? However, I'm throwing the challenge out to you to do this challenge. It's a lot harder than it looks, pal. <laughs> Let me just tell you. You're like, you're, uh, I can feel the heat just radiating She can feel off. the heat. Yeah, yeah, that's good, all right. <laughs> Josh, you have been tagged. Everyone else, thank you for watching. Whew, I need some water. It's gonna get you some. And I will see you in the next video, which I promise is the Viltrox video coming up. He's like wandering all in front of you. <laughs> <laughs> He's trying to get a good shot. I, have you? Oh my god! Oh, have you like actually put this? And your poor, your your poor boom mic. You know what we should do is weigh this. Do we have like? Do we have a, a scale or well, something? You know, I have no you idea know, what this is. You know what you do? You stand on a scale. Get your weight, and then you stand. I don't want to stand on wait, the wait, scale. Wait. Trust you stand me. on the scale, you get your weight, then you hold that, and then you take your weight again. The difference okay. between the two tells you the weight. <laughs> hey, that's a that's a good gimbal, by the way, for a phone. You know that? I'll show you how to use it. Come on. Ah. Okay, I just finished the one arm challenge, so there's one more thing I wanted to show you, but I am not going to use an XT3. I'm not I'm not using a gimbal. I am holding a cell phone, an iPhone 11 Pro, or yeah, I'm holding an iPhone 11 Pro. I promised that I would show you at one point what's behind this wall and it's not finished yet but that time has now come. I'd like to at least show you what's in progress, okay? So anyway, this is the studio right here. You know, you see all the time. And this is the wall that used to kind of separate this studio from a really dingy, kind of dirty, little dusty tool shed area. Let's take a look at it, okay? So we're going this way right now. Okay, so there's the studio right here, and there's what's behind it. Okay, so I have set up here a table where I can start to really review products in more detail than I can do in the studio. And I mean really put them through the test. Testing out the specs, having a, a, a table to be able to do that, and to be able to um, really focus in on using backgrounds, uh, to be able to have product, better product photography, that kind of stuff. Over here, I'm building a whole, this is gonna be like Palo Tech Labs, right? <laughs> so you got, oh, I even have a white coat. <laughs> You'll see that in a future video. It's gonna be really fun. You have, I mean, there's stuff up there, there's stuff hanging, you know, all over the place in here. It's not finished by any means, it's not finished by any means, but this room, this area, is going to be where I test things out and it's also going to be where if I have to explain a concept like and I, I was struggling a little bit with focus modes of the X-T3 and also the touch screen I had trouble explaining it just sitting there in the chair in the studio I needed almost a way to write some pictures on a diagram and show you so on that wall I have this will be this will be, this is actually an old school chalkboard. I'll have chalk, erasers, <laughs> right? So um, that's gonna be there. And then I'm gonna have to go in here. All the, the junk that was in here, okay, has now been moved out to here. All right, lots of stuff um, that Pal Detect keeps, right? Keeps, keeps this place running. Check it out. Gotta have lots of skeletons, lots of skeletons in my closet. Okay. Anyhow, um, yeah, I'm trying to think if there's anything else I should show you guys since I'm not, you know, doing this. Uh, let's see, yeah, maybe one more thing. What's behind that black curtain? Ha. 
That'll be for another video. I don't want to give it all away just yet. Oh, kids, what do you guys like best about being a part of this? Oh, I just love the fact that you can be yourself without being judged. Okay. And that when it comes to creativity, there are no rules.